Hi guys, do you like it? <coughs> hmm, I too love it. Okay, now I have to do my homework. Jenny, can you bring my school bag? Jenny, can you bring my school bag? Are you talking to me? I can't hear you. Please speak loudly. Can you bring my school bag? What? Guys, can you hear me? <coughs> I don't know what has happened to Jenny. She can't hear me. Yes, young man? You were calling me? Oh, I wanted you to bring my school bag from the other room. But I could not hear you. Ask my friend. That called you so many times. Oh, maybe your sound did not travel to me? Sound? Travel? Um, I didn't know that sound can travel. <laughs> yes, sound travels. That's how we can hear a sound. Hmm, it seems I don't know much about sound. Can you tell me more about it? Why not? For that, I want to play the guitar. Oh, I love to play it. Stop. See when you press the strings? We can hear a sound. Hmm. Let me press it again. Can you tell how the sound is coming? Hmm. When the string vibrates, they create a sound. Yes, you are right. Movement of strings creates sound. You know this movement of string is also called vibration? Vibration? Yes. Vibration happens when something moves back and forth quickly. We are able to hear all kinds of sounds because of vibration. Hmm. So if something moves back and forth rapidly, sound is produced. Can you tell me more? Look at this paper. Let me create some different type of sound with it. Hmm. You move the paper back and forth and the sound is produced. It is like this when I vibrate the strings of a guitar, then the sound comes. So, the sound is linked to the back and forth movement of the objects. You're correct! But this back and forth movement should happen quickly. Then only it can create a vibration. To learn more about it, let's go to the nearby lake. Wow! It is so beautiful here! Pick one stone and throw it in the lake. Let's see what happens. Hmm, there are ripples all around. You know when we move some object back and forth quickly, ripples are created around it. Let me throw one more stone to see the waves again. Hmm. There are a lot of ripples in the water. These ripples are water waves. The waves that are created in the air by vibration of objects are called sound waves. Water waves. Sound waves. Hmm. I know many things about sound. Oh, look here. It is a triangle made of iron. Let me hit it with my magic wand. Wow. Does it create sound waves? Yeah! But I've never seen sound waves. Can you see the air? No! Because air is invisible. You are right! The air is invisible. That is why sound waves that are made in the air are also invisible. Hmm... But can you show them by magic? Okay, okay! Wow! What are these? 
Oh, these are magic glasses. You can see sound waves with these. Oh, I can wait. Okay, let me hit this triangle once again. Oh, now I can see the sound waves. They are just like water waves. Yep, when you hit the triangle, the vibration of the metal pushes the air around it back and forth. And sound waves are created! You're right! I want to show you something more. Let's go home and watch it. But how do other people listen when we talk? When something vibrates, the air around it also vibrates. This vibration creates sound waves. And when these waves hit our ears, they reach our eardrum and it vibrates. And that is how why we hear. And you know why I cannot hear when you were calling me? Hmm, let me think. Maybe you had covered your ear with your hands and my sound waves were not reaching your eardrum. Very funny. Actually, sound waves can travel up to a certain distance after they fade and disappear in the air. Hmm. That means my sound waves could not reach you as you were far away. Yes, that is why I asked you to speak louder. If vibration of the object is higher, the sound waves are bigger and they can cover more distance. Now I have some homework for you. Oh, it is very interesting. Homework 1. Please press the like and subscribe buttons under this video. And the second one. Let's say bye very loudly so that the sound waves can reach the people in other room. Ready? One, two, three, bye!